Hello everyone, Indie Voice here, here to bring a fabulous RPG I have ever experienced this year. And I know that's a very bold statement to say, but this one is so well done. Like, oh my God, this is like a children's first D&D &D experience, except this kid decided to reenact every single character. Everything was like you were there, but he built this just throughout school or something. You're just like, I'm gonna play this game with this kid. But the name of the game we're looking at today is called RPG Time, The Legend of Right. Now, if you haven't seen this game before or seen any trailers about it, it was shown on, I believe, Nintendo Direct, or at least some trailers were shown throughout other YouTubers. But this one particularly is a game that has to be really appreciated for how much time has been put into this. The story begins after after school, the class transforms into a world of the Legend of Right, a RPG designed by a young aspiring game maker, Kenta. As you make your way throughout the game, crafted by Kenta, the drawings and the cardboard and stationery, you will see that there's so much more than just an RPG. Despite the name, RPG Time also features everything from action to adventure to bullet hell to turn-based battles. It's a treasure chest stuffed full of fun, and there's no telling what Kenta will pull out next. Nostalgic yet modern, this game is sure to shake up your after school routine. And my personal experience of playing this game, like I said before, this game is so well done that I cannot explain how amazing this game is. The detail, seeing how Kenta made this entire game, voice acting each character, using school supplies, etc. Using the turning off the lights on and off or when the power goes out and there's a lot in this game that uses so many genres to work out so well throughout each and every one of these games. In every area of the game, it was like another new adventure while playing right and experiencing a new way to go about the game, new bosses, meeting new friends and so on. Listening to Kenta talk about how he voice acts each and every one of these heroes, enemies, throughout the entire game just brings a love letter to RPGs or those that are starting out to love RPG games. This is a powerful imagination on how a kid brought his game to life and tons of inspiration has been into this entire experience of playing throughout this entire game. This game isn't long at most. It probably took me two days to finish because I was trying to be a completionist throughout this. But the pros and cons, great gameplay, amazing story, unique level designs, fourth wall breaking engagement, very interactive, and a very retro RPG hand-drawn style, which I really love on how this game works. Now, there are some cons some input of the controls is very frustrating to do on controller and or keyboard, aka the Ninja Village area, which can easily be fixed down the road. I mean, I'm not sure if it's the controller or how the game inputted it, but that is slightly annoying, but not too much annoying to destroy the entire experience. You might need some controller improvements and some small issues that can easily be resolved in patch notes. The rating I can give for RPG time, the Legend of Right. This is one of my all time favorite games of 2022. And I would recommend this game to anyone looking for a really good RPG game that breaks all the genres of just sticking to one theme, but sticking to several, maybe more genres all at once throughout the entire game and experiencing some comedy, some wholesomeness, experiencing new friends and going throughout the entire adventure of just a kid named Kenta that created this all from his imagination into something so amazing. This game gets a good rating of a must buy, very much worth it. But thank you for liking this video, for checking out this game. Hopefully this game gets another part of your game library and experience this interesting RPG 